YouTube and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. I told you I was gonna start doing the Cory Kitchen intros and I'm doing it. It's not as good as the original, but it's still good. <laughs> so on today's tutorial, we have got yet another request. Thank you again. I love the requests. Keep them coming, y'all. They really help me a lot. This person has eyes on how to use the camera layer because they're having some difficulty using it. And you know me? What if I do? I got you. That's what I do, okay? <laughs> yeah, boy. The camera layer tends to be used on things, I would say, like 3D tunnels and those other cool things that people do. The Instagram little thing and the Pinterest thing that I have done recently. You can use a camera layer for those as well. I'm going to be doing like a little Pinterest thing and I'm using the camera layer. I'm not going to be showing you guys how to create the little Pinterest looking thing. If y'all want a tutorial on that, just let me know. Yeah, I can I can hook you up. So now that I have my collection collage little thing going, we import our camera layer. So you're gonna right click, press new, and then you're gonna press camera. All your clips will have to be a 3D layer, so make sure you do that and make sure you turn on your motion blur because what are you doing if you don't have motion blur? Or I say this every single time. You can use your camera layer of one or two ways. One, you can just use the camera layer by itself, or you can parent the camera layer to the null. Me, I parent my camera layer to the null. So this would not be parent that to the null. And as you can see, I have all of these parented to the null. We're going to remove that. I just did it so I can move that up and down at the same time. The camera layer is 3D, so it's gonna control all the 3D stuff without it being parented to it. So let me show you. So you see, like so like that. But since this is parented to the null, we're gonna do everything we're gonna do on the null. Make sure you make that a 3D layer as well. So we're just going to position this to the top. That's the top. You scale it out some too so you can see. Okay, out. I said out, not in. Jeez, that's big. Okay. Okay. In myself. And we're gonna bring it back down. It's really simple. You just do what you want to do. So I'm just gonna like zoom it in and rotate it so like this side is showing then zoom it down and in or out more and rotate it on this side that's all you gotta do that's all really is to do stuff with camera layer you can either control it with the camera or you just parent it to a null that's like i said i usually parent it to a null layer and then control everything through the null but yeah so we're just gonna do a cool little thing As you can see, I really didn't do nothing too extravagant. I don't think I did a good job at explaining this, but... But it's really... It's really simple. You just gotta make sure everything's 3D. You just parent your camera layer to a null. I don't use it for cubes. I use it for stuff like this. If I'm doing like zooms and stuff with text or a collection of pictures like this, then I'm gonna use my camera layer. But besides that, I just use nulls, honestly. So... Yeah, I hope I could help you understand more on how to use a camera layer. Make sure you like and subscribe to follow me on my socials. Everything's linked below. If you need any further help, join the Discord server. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Or on my Discord server, we have a new channel where you can leave video suggestions if you want me to make a video on stuff. You can put on Discord and I'll probably see it a lot sooner than on YouTube. Anyways, y'all already know. I hope you guys have a good morning, good night, good evening, good afternoon. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing.